Hey everybody, AmpereDepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. I'm waiting on some parts for some amplifiers and more amps to get delivered. So I'm going to make a quick video here on the bias modification for a Heathkit SP220. I'll try to keep it as short and sweet as possible. And then I have to ground the grids on the second SP220 and test the transformers in a third SP220. So, a lot of stuff to do today. Um, okay, so. I see a lot of people fixing these amplifiers and they don't do this modification. It's so easy. Problem is, with these amplifiers, the older amps, they use what's called a force bias circuit to put the tubes in a cutoff. Nowadays, they use what's called self bias. The filament transformer has a 90 volt winding, AC winding. It's rectified, so it's like around 120 volts. They use that voltage to put the tubes in a cutoff, and it also fires the relay, the TR relay. So if you develop a filament to a grid short, you put a direct short on that rectified 90 volts AC, and that 100 milliamp winding can't take it, and you usually end up burning it out. And when that happens, you need a new filament transformer. So you have to cost the filament transformer and the cost to replace it. So doing this mod, which takes, you know, the time to take the covers off and everything, you know, takes, you know, 15 minutes or so to take the cover off, put it back on. At least for me, I, I'm a pro at taking the cover off and putting it back on, but, it's, you know, some people it takes longer. It's, you know, kind of a pain. I don't know why they developed it like this, but it can be a pain for the average person to get the shell on and off. Okay? So... You have the wire coming from the rectifier, goes to the contact, and then it jumps from the contact over the coil. You also have a 100K resistor going from that same contact over to the center tap wire coming off of the filament transformer. Okay, so sometimes these connections are on the center set of connections, not the outer but the wire is always usually red. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that wire coming from the rectifier and we will lengthen it if it's not long enough and connect it over to the coil. And then we will take that 100K resistor. We'll, we'll also re we'll remove the jumper and then the wire will go right to the coil, okay? And then the end of the 100K resistor at that same contact point right here will get moved down one. That goes back up to the metering board, that, that wire right there. Okay, so nothing will be on that upper contact. Just to recap, the wire from the rectifier from over here will go right to the coil. This jumper wire will be removed, and that 100K resistor will get moved down to the next contact down right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do all of that, and I'll show it afterwards. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, now you see that top contact bare. That's the normally closed contact. The red wire goes directly to the coil. That 100K resistor has been moved down. So basically, when the amplifier is unkeyed, the cathode return goes through the 100K resistor. Then when it's keyed, the resistor gets shorted. And it goes through the diode string to set the bias. Another thing to note is I've seen where this capacitor for that, where they rectify that 90 volt winding, I've seen this short and also take out the winding on the filament transformer. So it's critical to replace the capacitor over, let me see if I can get it without, yeah, there's a cap right over here, corner, which I uh, soldered one leg in, make sure you observe the proper polarity, positive on this side, negative on this side, goes to the outer terminals. So if that shorts, you can end up taking out that winding. I've also seen where someone has tried to put in a makeshift soft key and it takes out the winding. Remember, the winding is only rated for like 100 milliamps, so it doesn't take much to damage it. 
I have not soldered the other leg of that electrolytic yet because I still need to take the filter caps out for the plate supply and it's easier to gain access to the nut with one cap one side of the cap unsoldered so I can swing it out of the way and get you know, get at the nut so thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to call it's ampreparaguy.com 203 892-4119 203-892-4119 ampreparaguy.com Take care.